Hello, welcome back to a special edition of Unity. I'm telling you, Big Girl got to have it real. Big Girl's going down for you today. Got some exciting guests for you. Matter of fact, my first guest came all the way from the ATL, Atlanta, Georgia. Her name is Andrika Austin. She has fashion jewelry designer, and she's an event hostess. And I want to go ahead and welcome her to Unity. Thank you for having me. I tell you, anything, like I always say on my TV show, anything that makes a big girl look good, I have got to have it on my <laughs> show. I mean, you, you bless a big girl with some beautiful jewelry, as y'all can see. Had to make sure I had on the nice V-neck line. Make sure you get me in the all sides now. And then Mama had to get a little earrings to go with it. And then make sure Mama's wrist was even looking tight. And I sure thank you for that. You're welcome. How did you get into doing jewelry? Well, it started back in 2005. I was working with an all-girl nonprofit organization, and I was invited to host a summer camp um, as a part of the workshop where you teach girls to own their own businesses. And I thought jewelry making. Had no idea what I was doing. After playing around with it for so long, I figured it out. Made a couple pieces, impressed some of my coworkers, and they said I would buy something like that. And I was like, I think I would let you buy something like that. So once I got home, I started making it on my own, started settling to family and friends. They loved it, and someone gave me the clever idea to teach it. And so my passion is working with girls, with kids, and so I targeted girl groups and organizations actually making the jewelry, and I also still have my line of women's jewelry as well. You know, what made you want to decide going into taking it a step further into teaching it? You know, you could have just kept it, I'm just going to sell it, but, you know, what? What made you want to turn it into a ministry? That's what I'm looking for. Well, since I was young enough to babysit or old enough to babysit, my mom always told me that I had a passion for children where I could, you know, be around maybe 10 or 12 at a time and I was just calm, you know, and she just told me you have a passion to work with kids. And I figured since I have experience being a girl, you know, why not reach out to the girls who may not have, you know, that option available for someone to kind of mentor them and, kind of show them the way. So I wanted to incorporate, and I prayed. I said, Lord, show me how to make this more of a ministry um, than a business. You know, show me your will for this. And he showed me the age groups, which I started at age 7 and go to about age 17 or 18 with the girls. And just working with different nonprofit organizations that's looking for creative ex ways to express, you know, talents and gifts and kind of encourage other hidden talents. And so I tie that in with adorning yourself and being beautiful and being a queen and a few scriptures in the Bible and just kind of building up that self-esteem. Well, definitely our young ladies need that. They need more positive female sisters that's doing what's right. Sisters don't mean nothing about color. It's just a woman that's doing what's right in the Lord. Yes, and you've got some more pieces there that I you do. made. Show those to my viewers as well. Here we have a memory wire bracelet just made out of some basic beads um, that we take and this actually came from a broken down necklace um, just picking favorite colors I encourage the girls to pick out maybe a favorite color um, something that they wear a lot go through their wardrobe at home you know and um, create your bead or your piece to match whatever you know that you would wear so here we have this is like a turquoise and like a hot pink a fuchsia, and then this one is a basic red and white color that will kind of match maybe your Valentine's Day, Christmas, holiday, you know, or maybe just a simple red and white outfit. And so girls get to make braces like this, which is made out of memory wire, and then you have your matching earrings. It's something real small and cute, you know, not to make them look too adult, too grown. Well, that's true. And something that the parents will feel comfortable letting them wear as well. And for girls who don't have pierced ears, we also work with clips so they can kind of clip them on and still get to enjoy that piece as well. You know, you talked about two sponsorship. Yes, ma'am. Tell people about that. Well, um, for girl groups and nonprofits in Atlanta, um, or really anywhere in Georgia, but because I work in Atlanta, I noticed a lot of them don't have a big budget, and a lot of the budgets for art-based programs have been cut. And so we're encouraging people, if you see a need for something creative and fun for youth to do, just to kind of get them out of the house, give them a unique opportunity, to go ahead and sponsor it. It's $10 a girl. They get to make one project in one workshop hour. To make two projects, is an hour and a half, and that's $15. So if we can just get, you know, from a corporate sponsor all the way down 